It is the middle of December, and that means it is time for me to start setting up my 2024 planner. So stay with me. Well, hi everyone, I'm Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life, where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. And the way that I live a more simplified life is by creating my own planner uh, that I use throughout the year in OneNote. And today I want to take you on the beginning of that uh, journey as I start setting up my 2024 planner. Now, lots of you have been following me and asking me to do the planner setup in smaller chunks. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do this year. So today we are going to get started and today we're going to focus on uh, setting that notebook background that I like to use to kind of confine things to my page for me. And then we are also going to start setting up our year long section. If any and all of that sounds interesting to you, uh, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn your, turn your notifications all the way on. And um, let's get right into this today. All right, well, as you can see here on my screen, I have my plan for my 2024 planner. I know I am a planning maniac, but that's really uh, just what helps keep me organized. So uh, the information that you see on the screen here, I did a video actually last week. I will link it up above if you would like to check it out. And this is where I went through all of my thought processes for what I wanted in my 2024 planner, okay? And as you can see, it's quite extensive. Well, I think I have worked out uh, a lot of those details, starting with what color I would like my planner to be for 2024. And the more I thought about it, I'm leaning toward that black uh, classic planner again this year. But I thought for the beginning, at least for the long term um, or the year long section of the notebook, I'm going to try this beautiful dark green color. Uh, one of the reasons is because A, I'm a gardener and uh, I love nature. And the word that I am going to be using as my focus word for this upcoming year is cultivate, okay? And when I say cultivate, I mean it in many different ways. Uh, so I think that this green color will go really nicely with that kind of overall theme of cultivating, curating, uh, creating, uh, the things that I want in my life. Okay. So let's get started and I will show you, uh, what changes I'm making to the layout of my notebook. Okay. Last year I used a very simple black outline notebook split down the middle with rings in the middle. Okay. And I really liked that. The one problem that I had is when I separated my, uh, days of the week across the bottom, Monday through Thursday on one side, Friday, Saturday, Sunday on the other side, sometimes they would get misaligned and sometimes that was fine. And sometimes that drove me crazy. So, uh, this year I want to make another change. I am going to make it more of a long horizontal planner, um, and, uh, see how that works out for me. So where did this planner graphic come from? That's the first question everybody asked me. I will tell you that I made it myself. I created it in PowerPoint. It is very easy to do. Again, I'll link the video for those of you who want to go and follow step by step. But for today, I just want to show you quickly what changes I made in PowerPoint to get the uh, graphic from looking like this to the one that you saw at the top of the episode. Okay. All right. So let's jump over to PowerPoint. All right. And as you can see here in PowerPoint, um, I have my background and you know, it looks very much like my black one. The only thing that I did is change the color uh, to this dark green color. All right. Now, the first thing that I know that I need to do is uh, I need to, if I'm going to make this a landscape planner uh, with the rings on the far left hand side, the first thing that I need to do is, well, let's go ahead and move uh, these lines that are in the middle. And let's move these rings down here like that. Okay. Now these lines, I don't need those anymore. I don't think so. I'm going to delete those. 
So I'm simply highlighting and deleting, okay? And that looks pretty good, but I know that I want to uh, keep those links on the side for my daily pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna uh, click on this top page and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so that I have room for those links there on the side, okay? Now I am just eyeballing and guesstimating this. I will come back and tweak it a little bit more if I need to. I know that my um, links uh, are a certain width and I just wanna leave space for those at the edge of my notebook, okay? All right, so that's kind of how I want it to look. Um, I'm also going to leave um, a little bit of extra space up here. I think that looks okay. Let me make sure that's kind of centered like that. All right. Um, and then all I do is once I've created something in PowerPoint and I want to use it in OneNote, what I do is I come up to the top corner and I highlight the entire thing. I'm sure there's a hot key for that, but I never remember those hot keys. I know that it has the entire notebook because I see the green is highlighted here, my white page is highlighted here, and my rings are highlighted there, okay? So from here, I can do Control C to copy, and then I can take it back into OneNote. Let me move down to a blank space here at the bottom. That's the one I've been playing with, but down here at a blank space on the bottom, uh, let me just do control V to paste and you see that notebook comes in. Okay. Now what I did to resize it to get it this big is I simply click on the graphic. It is now a picture. I cannot change any of those parts uh, and I can make it as big or as small as I want. Okay. So it's that simple. Uh, if you follow the video that I did uh, for how to set up this notebook in PowerPoint, it's very easy to do, I promise you, okay? All right, so then the next thing that I wanted to do to get the look that I wanted is I wanted to make sure that I had my links. So what I did here is I actually, in my 2023 notebook, I went back to a December page and I simply grabbed my day links here on the side, copied those, took them back to my 2024 planner where I was playing around, paste those on the side, and then you can see I just dragged them over to make sure that that space was wide enough, okay? I think that works fine. I like it the way it is. Uh, yes, those months will change or those colors will change uh, throughout the year, and that's fine with me, but I tell you what, you know, uh, as I've said before, burgundy is one of my favorite colors. So even if I left all of these burgundy, that wouldn't matter to me. Okay. Uh, let's see, especially for the year long stuff. All right. So then the next thing that I wanted to do is in my, um, again, I'm going to go back to one of my December pages to show you. Uh, you can see on my dashboard that I have weeks going down this side. And then I had some extra pages, you know, all those important things, my inbox, my health and habits. Um, my house list, my meals, all that kind of stuff. Well, I think instead of having them on the side, I'm going to try having them across the top. So again, I went in here and I right clicked and I said copy. And I went back to my 2024 planner and I pasted those on the side. Paste. And they came in in the same format that I created here. Okay. So how did I get this from going vertically to going horizontally? Well, what I did is I simply went up here to insert table and how many uh, rows or columns for the weeks. I wanted six and I said, okay, that gave me a blank uh, table just like this. So I could go in here and do my table shading. Let's do that table shading black. Okay. And then all I did, again, this is so easy. Uh, all I did is I went up here and I said, okay, week one, Let's drag that over there to week one. Week two, drag it to week two. Week three, and so on and so on, okay? So that's how I got this up here, all right? Let me get rid of this, work in progress. And then I went back to that December page and I said, let's take a look at what else is there. Well, I have, you know, all of these other links that I want as well. So again, same process, copy, 
take it back to my 2024 planner planning page and pasted it on the side. So, uh, you know, you could paste it wherever you want. So let's see, paste it there. Okay. Same process, created a new table, except this time I said 10 columns. All right. Cause I want it to go across the top and I started doing the same thing. I put my inbox, my monthly, my health and habits, my house. Let's go ahead and finish these really quickly. Uh, I may speed this up uh, so that you can see what I'm doing, but all I'm doing is I'm highlighting the link that I want and I'm dragging it up to the next cell. Okay. And there we go. There are all of my links. If I click on my inbox now, because I took this from my December page, it will take me back to my December inbox. Okay. So, uh, what I need to do is as I create each month, uh, I will, um, modify that so that it goes to the correct page for that month. All right. All right. So I can get rid of this now. Um, and actually for my year long section, I probably really don't need all of these things at the top. Although I do like to have my Google calendar and my crystal clear life and all of that kind of thing. Okay. All right. And these are redundant. So I will now delete those. The other thing that I did on my December pages is I kept this link, uh, section, which was my cleaning zones, uh, so that I knew exactly what zone I was working in for that week, my cleaning list, my restocking and my, uh, projects to do and my monthly tasks page. Okay. Now, rather than create another tab up here, uh, with another table, I'm simply going to add more columns as I go. So let me show you how to do that. And I'm just going to take the links at the moment at the moment. So here's my cleaning list. I'm going to grab that and put it right up there. Okay. Then when I hit the tab key, it adds another cell there for me up oh, and there we go. Okay. And tab again. And then my monthly tasks can go right up there as well. Now, if I wanted to, I could have simply tab, tab, tabbed and put those weeks in there as well. And that may be something that I end up doing so that I have it a little bit cleaner up here. All right. So let me go up here and add one more tab. So I'm just going to put my, my, uh, my cursor in the last one that I did. I'm going to hit the tab key and there we go. Now I can pull these over if I want so that they are aligned like so. And you know what? That is going to bother me the whole time. So let's just fix it now <laughs> and then it will be fixed for the whole year. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab these and I'm going to put it up here. So there's week one. Let's make our container all the way down to here. Tab week two. Okay. Now, when you look at the notebook, it looks a lot cleaner. Uh, all of the tabs going across the top, um, are there for me. And if I wanted, uh, you know, to add something else, I do have an extra space there and I currently don't have anything under my budget tab. So that's actually a blank tab as well. Okay. So let's get rid of this one. Let's get rid of that one. And let's see. I can go in here and do insert to the right and that will put an extra tab in there for me. Okay. And, uh, I'm going to call this one zone. So I know what zone I am in. Oops. All right. And these are doubling up because I added this extra one here. So let's delete that. And that makes that a lot cleaner. Okay. All right. I think that looks good. All right. So let's take a look at the whole thing and let's move this back up where it belongs. Remember if you want these small, uh, movements of things. You can always click on the object and then hold down your alt key and that lets you do those little fine movements. Okay. All right. So I think this might be uh, something that I like for 
um, this particular upcoming year. All right. So I'm going to leave that right here in my 2024 planner. That's going to be my notebook kind of set up for now. Um, and that's the first step, figuring out what I want my notebook to look like. Okay. When I look at this page, I like the clean look of all of my links up here at the top going across. I also like all of my daily links going down here on the side. Um, and I like the fact that I'm going to have this big open expanse of uh, real estate here uh, in the middle where I can put all of my days of the week and still have room at the top for all of the other things that I like to track on my weekly and my daily pages. Okay. All right. Well, that's going to be the end of this video. I'm going to stop here because I'm trying to do this in baby steps so that you guys can follow along and do the baby steps with me. So the first step is to design your notebook the way you want. Start with PowerPoint, uh, watch that first video on PowerPoint, and then make it your own uh, and set up your links or sections for your links um, or spaces for your links. They don't have to be links yet. They don't have to go anywhere. They just have to be there uh, so that you have a place to put those links when you are ready to use them, if you are ready to use them. Because remember, in OneNote, you don't necessarily have to have all of those links. I can navigate to these things uh, by looking at my various notebooks, my various sections, and my various pages. But sometimes it's just handier to have that link right there on the screen for you, okay? All right. Well, again, thanks for watching today. Uh, if you've learned something new, don't forget to give me that thumbs up. It really is a great help. And as promised, I will be doing lots more videos uh, between now and the new year as I set up my 2024 planner. So I'll see you in the next one. Okay. All right. Until then, here's hoping that you can live a more organized and simplified life through better planning. I use OneNote. Okay, bye.